Hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. With our own version of nighttime shenanigans while trying not to say the wrong name, we have come back to bring you a cheeky peek at things from the internet, scandalous stories from the world of celebrity, and not forgetting the piece de la resistance, by which I mean the piece of the show we want to resist. It's our life lesson. But before we deal with that, we say hello to my co-host, Steve. I, I mean Lee. Stephanie, to you. Stephanie. Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah. I have got some exciting showbiz news, including a story about the trainers that are a bit rudy doody of a famous rapper. Oh. Mm. And I've got some stories from the internet, and some don't feature genitals, including a new way of cooking chicken. You can still find us while you wait for your takeaway. Just look on your social media for at the Could TV. Don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to this, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast service or watch us on YouTube, where you can also subscribe just by tapping on my bell. Ding dong, daddy. And if you have commented, shared or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen right now. So, Mike, following from our convoluted conversations, covering contagions on calamitous crimson crayfish cravings, and recognising that shifty Susie works in a shoeshine shop, where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. I thought I'd tell you that I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit, on the sheet I slitted and sit. So can you tell me, do you duck quacks echo? No idea, but this is the sound of one hand clapping. You look too pleased with yourself for that to even be a joke. Let's just play our... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today. Regular viewers will know that he recently started dating a mime artist and has been off practicing some of the mimes. All of that was quite difficult to get via text message, but I think it means he's been pulled up by the police for looking inside someone's box. He said he would have gotten away with it until he tried to show them the mimes for shuffling cards and shaking dice. So I thought this week I'd ask Lee to demonstrate. So here's a deck of imaginary cards for you to shuffle, Lee. Thank you. Okay. And here's a couple of dice. Oh, thank you. So shake the dice. So while I try and scrub that image from my mind, it's time to play. It's the return of your favourite this week, the Gobby Game Show. So off you pop, mind how you go, you know you're not stable on those stilettos. We are sending Lee to some of the sets of some of the most famous movies. All he has to do is convey where he is, and then I have to guess. Are you ready, Lee Love? Oh, I'm ready. Mm. So let's have the first one then. He mm -hmm. is a person. He's a person, okay, I've got that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's dead in real life. Dead in real life? Yeah. The actor. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, one, two, third of the he Play this person. Third. Third. Yeah. Right. Um, hello, it's a bit hello. No, not him. Not him. No, not him. Um, ooh. He did uh, uh, The Saint. He was The oh. Saint. Harry Potter. No. Yeah. Not Harry Potter. Um, he wrote The Secret Service. In the films. In, in it. Yeah. Right. And uh, a noon raker. <laughs> he did what? Noon raker. <laughs> he did what to someone? Noon raker. Moon raper? No, raker. Raker. Raking it. Raking it. Rake. Moon raker. Yeah. Right, okay. 
Uh, the the golden gun. Dun, 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 that, like that. Oh, oh! James Bond. Yeah, it's gone, though. I don't know, I don't like James Bond. No, it's gone. I don't that's know. Not, that's Sean Connery. Right. Not the next one, I can't remember his name. Oh, Daniel Craig. No, and then it was him. And then it was Hayes Rosnan. Hayes Brosnan? No. Then it was Hayes Rosnan. Right, okay. So we call Hayes Rosnan. I only no, know. No! I know. We call Timothy Dalton. Who's Timothy him, Dalton? Him, then Timothy Dalton, and then Hayes Rosnan. We're, we've just got a buzz. I don't know who it is. Oh, uh, it's, um, it's, um, <laughs> who the f*** is it? It's Roger Noor. Roger No? Roger No. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, Roger No. <laughs> Roger No. Let's right. have, let's have another one. Right, let's let's get the next one up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Long time ago, Hill. Okay. Okay. Started off in black and light. Started in black and light. Right, okay. Uh, and then it became colour. Right. Yeah. So so Ron Herson. Uh -huh. And a dog. And a dog. Then that uh, another person. Uh huh. Then that uh, another person. Right. And then that uh, another person. And then we went for a look on the laws. Uh, in case. Oh. What's eating Gilbert Grape? No. 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 That's an old film. No, older than that. Old okay. than What's eating Gilbert Grape? Yeah. Uh, Runkies, with rings that fly. Sorry. Sorry, just something with wings. Runkies. Is it the body form advert? No. Okay. Oh, Runkies in the body form advert. Um, they come with wings. I'll get to my Are you trying to flirt with me? I'll get to my fitties and your little dog. Huh? That's good. Is it The Wizard of Oz? It is The oh. Wizard of Oz. Thankfully, because you just going, I'll get you my... Oh, no. My yellow thing. My yellow thing. Should we get the next one up? Oh. OK. Hotel in America. Yeah? OK. And Ronnie and what? Daddy. And a little boy. Mummy. Oh. <laughs> mummy. Oh, a mummy. Mummy. Oh, a mummy. Yeah. Not Dad a mummy. Daddy. <laughs> okay. Little boy. I guess they were daddy and little boy. Yeah. Okay. In the winter, snowing, snowing. Oh, nobody else in the hotel. <laughs> no. Home alone. No. 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 Okay. Nobody else in the hotel. Just those three people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ooh, scary. Don't go in that room. Don't go in that room. Because <laughs> there's something not in there not nice. Because <laughs> of what? Something not nice in there. Right. No. Come play with us, Danny. Come play with us. Is this porn? No. Oh, yeah. mm. I don't know. I mean, no. uh, <laughs> Why did you have to think whether it was or wasn't? I don't know if there's a whole version. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Shaving Private Ryan's. No. Shaving Ryan's Privates. That kind of thing. And Bear uh, Mountain. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, uh, um, on his little trike. <laughs> oh, down, oh, down the car. <laughs> <laughs> down the corridor. What's he doing up and down the corridor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the two, two, two little girls. I'm tired of Danny. Then, get even more scary. Here's Johnny. Oosh, 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 oosh. Through the rocking door. Oh, he's screaming. Go, oh, no, Johnny. Oh, your has gone. The Shining. Yes! yes. <laughs> well Oof. done. Let's do another. Okay. Uh, Rig Hill. Uh huh. Rig Hill. Grass on it. Yeah. None. Running up the hill. Right. Yeah. So there's grass on the field so you can play no. on it. Hill. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. None. Not really none. Not quite. T 
training to you then? Half and on. Half and on? Yeah? Half and on <laughs> running up the hill. Right up the hill. <laughs> and trails. No, she's like, old person. <laughs> like legs as well as top, yeah. Um, and then there's like, <sighs> like 20 children, I don't really know. Uh, all singing. They're singing? Yeah. What were Nazis. they singing? Nazis. Oh, they're not nice. Nazis. What were they singing? Uh, Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, fisting my moonlight and what else? I don't know. Okay. That, um, that would be the sound of music. It would indeed. I wouldn't have done it without the fisting reference. No. Don't go anywhere because still to come is our life lesson. And just after the break, it's Lee with the showbiz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we chat to the man who thought pick a peck of pickled peppers was a euphemism. It's Lee and the Showbiz News. I don't know what a euphemism is. Do you not? No. Is it like green slime? You, you, you know this show? Yeah. It's basically a euphemism. One massive euphemism. Yes, and I do love a massive one. I've heard. Ooh. Showbiz news. If I said to you the name Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown? Millie Bobby Brown. Are they not cookies? No. Would no. you? Well, clearly you don't know who Millie Bobby Brown is. No, but I no. quite like the name of Millie Bobby Brown. I quite like saying Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> if you say it really quickly, it's fun, isn't it? It is, Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love a Millie Bobby Brown, please. Yeah. Um, anyway, so Millie Bobby Brown is a person. She was in um, Stranger Things. She is also in the Godzilla films. All right, okay. Okay. Are you aware of the Godzilla films? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, she's, so she was in the last Godzilla film. Okay. And she's now in the next Godzilla film, which is Godzilla vs. Kong. Okay. Right. Now, that's all very... I, th I, I think we've got a picture of her in Stranger Things. So, so that might refresh your memory. So here she, yeah, no. No, not watched it. Millie Bobby Brown, no. No. That's her in Strange Things. And then we've got a picture of her in Godzilla. She's the one in the middle. Oh, okay. So yeah. I thought she was the one on the right. Yeah, she's, yeah. So we've got Kong, Millie Bobby Brown, Godzilla. Okay. okay. So apparently you can, you can go and, you, so originally mm. it was supposed to come out of the cinema and you were supposed to be able to see it, but Rona's happened, so we can't. So you can stream it and blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's not the thing I'm talking about. The thing is that her co-stars, right, have said what, that... What, God, what, Godzilla and King Kong are co-stars? Yes, yeah, yeah right, Godzilla okay. and King Kong have said that when they were filming the film, yeah. Millie Bobby Brown had quite an odd sort of way of getting into the groove of, of the scenes. She would kind of get into the kind of spirit of the film and, and the scene by barking. Like a dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. A bit like what we do. Oh, this sounds like meow, like cats. Like, yeah. So, yeah, so one of her co-stars, not the giant dinosaur, not the big monkey, said that in between takes, they would literally kind of have a sing, uh -huh. but then she would start barking. And he, the, 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 the co-star was like, I don't know if it was like a moment for her or it was just like a period of a time when she was just into barking. I remember that period of time when I was into barking. No, that was dogging. Different thing. Um, Very different thing. Yeah. So, yeah, she said she would just bark before a take if she needed the energy to kind of get through the scene. She'd just go, woof, woof, woof. And he said that he's seen a lot worse from actors. Wow. Good, isn't it? If you were going to bark in between takes, what kind of bark would you have? I'd probably go for a yap. Go for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. What about you? Um, I'd, I, I'd go for... Obviously, the kind of masculine, deep, woof, bark. Because, oh, that hurt um, So, yeah. Um, I haven't seen this film. Sure, I don't think she barks in the film. I think it's ah. kind of like, you know, whatever. Um, I haven't seen the film. I quite like the idea of Godzilla fighting um, the King monkey, Kong. King Kong. Yeah, there's a picture yeah. of it there. Yeah. Meh. I don't, I don't get why they do these crossover movies. 
Uh, I saw the other one, which was King... Co no, it wasn't. It was Godzilla vs. Monsters, or Godzilla King of Monsters, and it had loads of different monsters in, and a really rubbish one called Mothra. Mothra? Mothra, which is a little, like, a little butterfly that goes... It's not a butterfly, it's a moth. It's a bit rubbish, though. It's the name Mothra. And King Kong is married to Mothra. Mm. Not King okay. Kong. Godzilla. I'm a bit obsessed with King Kong. Let's move on, because I, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so, so... A giant lizard is yeah. married to a giant moth. Yeah, apparently. I don't know how that works myself either. I questioned it. I said, well, how does that work? All I want to know is why, you know, in some parts of the world, gay marriage is still illegal. You have yeah. got a giant lizard marrying a giant moth. I think they have to be very careful when they're doing Jiggy Jiggy. Because yeah. moth's wings, like, disintegrate, don't they? When you touch them. But who's the top? We don't know. Just don't thought that one through? I've just... No, yeah. no. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Into creature sex. This is something that you will like. Mm -hmm. You're a fan of Little Nas X, aren't you? I am a massive fan of my future mm -hmm. husband, yes. So he has just released um, the single Mo um, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, mm -hmm. which has been like a number one hit all over the world, uh, which in itself is fantastic because he's an openly gay rapper. Mm -hmm. um, in the video, it's quite saucy. We've, we, quite there saucy? Was, well, very saucy. He kind of gets it on with the devil, doesn't he? While gyrating it around in his pants, yeah. Yeah, we've got a couple of pictures. They were only ones that were suitable for us to show. So that's him again stealing my look. Mm -hmm. um, in the earlier part of the... This, that's giving me that... Um, what was that film with... Fifth Element. Yes, that's giving me that vibe. Yep. So, and then, so that's, that's okay. So then, see, this, that's the devil, mm -hmm. and that's um, Little, Nas Little Nas giving him some ear lingus. Mm -hmm. um, we couldn't show any more of those nope. pictures because it's very, very rude. Um, how, so, that, all, all that aside, he has released um, some trainers... <laughs> He released at the end of the video. I was going to say, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all did. And so, so he's collaborated with a, with a, with a trainer brand. Um, a well-known trainer brand. A, well, they're called MSCHF. They're not uh, Nike. So, but they're, yeah, so they've, they've adapted a pair of, of Matt Nike shoes. All right, okay. So they're Nike Air Max 97. Oh. So he's given them a bit of a controversial spin. So apparently, they so there's, a, there's a pentagram design on each shoe. Mm hmm and it said that they each contain a drop of human blood. Oh. Nike aren't happy with this. We don't, we, don't want, we don't want our shoes with human blood in them. Lube, you'd expect, but no, no. Yeah. Um, so they've been dubbed... Satan shoes. Mm. OK. Um, 666 pairs were made. See what he did there? And they cost $1,018, which is roughly about... 735 mm -hmm. English pounds. Um, How much? You thought it would have gone with $666 if we were going to go with the theme. Mm. Um, so he was going to um, pick online who mm -hmm. got the 666th pair. Right. Um, but because Nike have kind of gotten not happy with that, mm -hmm. he's had to scrap it. Oh, okay. Well, would you have a pair of, of Satan shoes? Um... I think they actually quite look quite nice, to be fair. Less excited by the pentagram and the drop of blood. I want to know whose blood it is. There's a, a little Bible quote on there, Luke 10, 18. Okay, does that mean anything to you? Shall we find out? Okay, go for it. Hello, yes, we're, we're talking about these, these shoes from the, the fit rapper guy. Um, Luke 10, 18. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. That's what it means. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, so I'm not so keen on the trainers myself, but I like the fact that an openly gay hip hop artist has, mm -hmm. has done amazingly well because it's it's not the most inclusive it's of not. genres. It's not. But um, what I also love is that he's a he quite openly admits he's a bottom. That's what it. Yes, in the video, I was just like trying to think because at the end he snaps the horns off, sticks them on his head, doesn't he? he doesn't and then know, he, he becomes. Take, he sick. takes over, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in previous songs, he said that he he has to, he bottoms on the low because he's top. He's overshare much, little Nas X. I'd let him overshare. <laughs> Love your face, would you? Well, I don't Forever, waste it, really. Is it? 
Yeah, okay. Um, so, last bit of showbiz news. BBC Three have made a bit of a comeback. They mm -hmm. kind of like been sidelined and they've been like kind of like BBC kind of like, oh, we're not going to do it. It's all going to go online. Mm -hmm. But with the success of Drag Race UK and loads of people tuning in to watch BBC Three, they've kind of like rethought about it mm -hmm. and um, are kind of relaunching it. And they're, they're, they've announced that they're going to be um, filming a new comedy horror series featuring a gay teen lead. Oh. Um, it's a six-part comedy series from the producers of Russell Tovey's ITV, um, docu uh, not documentary, but ITV drama, The Sister. Um, I, I didn't watch that. Did you watch it? Um, I didn't, know, but I've, I've heard good things. You've heard good things. It's going to be called Wrecked. So the, the, we've got a picture there of, of the poster for The Sister. Is that, that, is that Russell Tovey? There in the middle in the, in the, in the long coat. This is kind of a mock-up of possibly what the poster for Wrecked, which is what the TV series is going to be called, is, is going to look like. Oh, right, okay, so it's, a, it's not what I think it was when no. it's called Wrecked. To be fair, when I read that, I, it, that did make, yeah. So, um, Prolapse. Yeah. Um, it's about um, a young man who goes and works on a luxury cruise ship. Oh. Okay. Um, and it's kind of a bit like a whodunit, but like science fiction-y, scary stuff. Um, is, is this this him? This, no, this isn't, the, the, they haven't cast any of the, the actors yet. It's set to go into production later this year in Northern Ireland. Oh. Mm. With a, so they're gonna do, they're gonna do the casty kind of stuff and announce mm. it. Um, so that sounds, I, I quite like a bit of scariness. Yeah, I quite like it. Mm. Sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah, so yeah, look out for that on the ocean. Near you. <laughs> Wrecked. Bobbing along. Yeah. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Well, thank you, Lee. It's always nice to see that there are some really attractive writers out there. But coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the M, to the I, to the K, to the E. Wicka, 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 wicka. All these scratchings making him itch. It's Mike and the Buzz. Got anything to say about that? I don't know what you're trying to... Are you trying to say that I'm not street? That I'm not down with the children? <laughs> That's a... <laughs> That's something very different. Sure. Anyway, um, I've been having a footer around the internet this week. Have you? I have. Um, and no one could stop me. I, I've, I've been finding some fun things to share with you. That's always nice. That's always nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, first one, unusual ways of cooking things. Mm -hmm. okay. So when you, you cook something and one of you, your friends goes, Oh, I've never thought about doing it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like deep frying a Mars bar. Mm. Yeah, or a doner kebab. Mm -hmm. Always good. Do you have any of those little tricks that you do? Between my arse cheeks. Oh, okay. I always find gives a lovely, lovely flavour. Okay, what are you cooking between your cheeks? Generally anything. Anything? Corn on the cob. Chocolate hobnob. Anything, yeah. Okay. Mississippi what? mud pie. <laughs> <laughs> what, sorry? Mississippi mud pie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, well, this young gentleman's found a great way of cooking chicken. Oh, okay. By slapping it. Slapping it. So he found out if, if he slaps it 135,000 times in eight hours, it will cook the chicken. That's, what, 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 that's a unique way of cooking chicken. Did he find that out by choking his own chicken? for that amount of time and well, thinking, oh, it's heating up this. I wonder what would happen if I did this to a chicken. <laughs> no, so what he did is he basically wanted to find out how long it would take to cook a chicken breast by slapping it. Because when you slap, you generate heat. Mm. Yeah. Um, so he wasn't sat there just smacking it. He wasn't just spanking away on the chicken. He created a machine to do it for him. Oh, the clever boy. Clever man. What about you could cook other foods this way as well? As he said, you could, there's other ways. No, I'm thinking oh, you're maybe, thinking, I'm thinking yourself. Maybe you could, like a hot dog. There wouldn't be much left there, would there? Well, you just have to just gently tap it. No, but you've got, if you if you want heat, you've got to really smack it, don't you? Well, even a little tap would get generate heat. 
Yeah, but you're there for about four years. Well, it's, uh, the hot dog's quite thin, though, isn't it? So if you think, you, you're just getting a, a, a hot dog like that and just tapping it away. I don't know if you rub it up and down. What, rub up and down like that? Yeah. That will generate heat too, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm still not convinced. Still not convinced. And with chicken, you've got to be very careful. Because you don't want salmonella. You don't want salmonella. No. So... So put it in the grill or in the oven like a normal person. I'll just go slap it until... Go it... to the chicken shop and buy some. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Um, shall we move on a little bit? Please. Away from cooking chicken. Yeah. Right, to something equally as foul. <laughs> but... Um... And this is a story about... A tragic story about a caretaker's death. Oh. All right. After he falls to death in a ladder. On a ladder. Falls to death in a ladder? Yeah, on a ladder. <laughs> Forced to his death at school. Oh, this is quite sad, mate. Very sad, mm. right? Um, and what's it was... going to make us laugh? <laughs> no, it's all quite sad. It's all sad. It's all sad. Yeah. Oh, um, he didn't so... like comedy fall into a grave. It, no, he, he didn't even go. <laughs> no. Oh, he just okay. Literally fell to his death um, at a school. Um, in front of children. In front of children. Oh, what's what? Are, why are you telling us this story? Because inside the same paper. Okay. Um, they advertised at the same school, a need for a new caretaker. Oh! Do you know what? Advertising space is very expensive. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you can get everything in one, then... So we'll give you this story free of charge if we can advertise for a replacement. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at the same time. Slightly heartless. <laughs> it's slightly um... heartless, yeah. <laughs> that school's gone, oh, so the caretaker's died. We need a new one. Pop it on the front page. In fact, let's give it out as flyers at his funeral. <laughs> it didn't pop the advert on the front page. and put it in the job section. Okay. It wasn't completely. Oh, right. The okay. Because yeah. that looks no, like that's it's just a bit a, in front. We've oh. cut, we cut out to oh, show you. Oh, you see, now it's not funny at all. <laughs> 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 now it's just tragic. <laughs> now it's just tragic. Yeah. Yeah, what, what's really tragic is that hey, basically the funeral was at the same time as the closing time for the application. Oh, it's a choice. It is, it, it's dark. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Moving on to an, an another story, mm. a little bit more light-hearted, about beauty queens. OK. Hey, do you like a beauty pageant? No, Mike. You don't I like don't. a beauty pageant? I don't. I think they're, they're patriarchal, horrendous stuff. OK, <laughs> what, what about drag queens in beauty pageants? Oh, you see, again, I'm not... I'm like... You're not a fan of drag queens walking down, showing off a, a look down the way. You see, we, um, but what else can they do? What else can they do, Mike? Oh. I mean, I'm pretty, <laughs> but I'm funny as well. So, you know, there's two strings to my bow. <laughs> a bow that he twangs quite often. <laughs> um, well, this is a scandal that has come out. Scandalous. Scandal. El scandalo. El scandalous. Um, as a Sri Lankan beauty queen crown has been snatched from her head. <sighs> Oh. After it's found out that she was uh, divorced. Okay, so that's, she's not a drag queen. She's not a drag queen. Oh, it's okay. It's a bit like a drag queen. <laughs> it's a fine line. It's a fine line. She wears a little less makeup than a drag queen. Yeah. Um, oh. But yes, the beauty pageant winner, Pushpika de Silva. Oh, Pushpika de Silva. I know uh -huh. her. Yeah. She hangs out with Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> does she really? <laughs> she does. Millie Bobby Brown. Um, had, the, had the crown snatched after someone said, I wish she can't be a miss because she's divorced. Oh. So, so she's, she is she's not a miss in the true sense. She's not M-I-S-S. -S, she's a Ms. So oh. Are they also kind of referred... Do, do um, beauty queens have to be intact? Or waxed? No, do they have to be virgins? I well, I don't think there's any real way of testing without infringing on their, their privacy, is there? And for this section of the beauty pageant, we'll be doing we an internal yes. examination. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is walking down the runway with a hymen fully on show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. OK. Well, I... Um, the good news is, though, it was a false claim and she's had a crown re replaced on the head. I, you know... I would probably be more interested in beauty pageants if there was an element of fight mm -hmm. included. Get rid of that old question of, like, what, what is your hope for the future? Let's fight it out with, like, nunchucks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Snatching the hair off each other's head. Well, they do that in, in drag. Yeah. Yeah. OK. 
Manhattan. And if you want to send us something, and no Ralph from Raleigh, that's not what we have on our OnlyFans. It's just our outtakes. Have a look for at the Cud TV on your ever-present social media platforms. And that brings us quite nicely over to our story of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now during lockdown, have you learnt any any instruments? Apart from the skin of flute. Or the, or, the man me or, the, or, the, or the man me clarinet. <laughs> no, I haven't, Mike. You haven't? No. No. Oh. Have you ever thought about playing a guitar? Um, no. No. <laughs> because um, the reason why people say they're not going to take up the guitar is because it can be quite tricky. You've got to work out your fingering and your strumming. You do. You do. And not everyone can finger and strum at the same time. No. Okay. But worry thee not. Oh. I, I, a saviour has come to save us all. Which is what saviors do, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Right? So now you just have to worry about your fingering. I worry about it constantly. Okay. Uh, as they found a new way of playing and strumming your guitar. Should we play, should we play the video? Pulp, fi Pulp Fiction tune. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, I was too busy concentrating on the massive dildo. That was, uh... <laughs> vibrator. Is that a vibrator? Vibrator, because it was vibrating. Oh, okay. So that little tiny, uh, that was quite cute, the little tiny flicky hand. <laughs> yeah. Is that like the bean flicker? That's the bean flicker. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Learned so much. The tiny little hand. The tiny hand. <laughs> Not a hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. I thought that was a great way of entertaining yourself. Mm. You imagine like people picking it up afterwards and going, why are these strings just covered in slime? <laughs> slime. You can wipe it didn't, off. We didn't wipe it first. It was quite clearly wiped because it was matte. It wasn't shiny. I was trying to be funny, but it didn't uh, work. Yeah. So are you going to be trying that when you get home? No. No? Why not? Do you not have a guitar? I don't have a guitar. Oh, OK. Um, and that's all we have from the buzz this week. <laughs> well, thanks, Mike. Um, I know I can use, where I can use my tiny fingers now. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned, because after this comes our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we go to the part of the show that Lee has told his recent GP gave him PTSD and he comes up with them. It's this week's... Life Lessons. We're going to do something alcoholic this week. Hey! Woohoo! And sweet. Hello. A bit of both. Um, Alcoholic. One of, one of our lovely viewers drew my attention to this. Oh. That's been all the rage on the interweb this week. Getting drunk. Getting drunk's been on the, been with, out there with for With certain months. things. So we're going to make a um, kind of a sweet cocktail oh. using ice cream cones that you could buy at supermarkets. You know those twirly-whirly ones that have a colour in the middle? The Twizzlers. Yeah. What of those? But first of all, we need to do a little bit of preparation for the actual okay. beverage to go. So you should have um, a, a glamorous cocktail holder. This is not a cocktail glass. Is it not? No, this is an ice cream glass. Is it? Yes. Some might say it is. Some might say you can drink out of it. Well, you can drink out of it. Yeah. It's a, you can drink out of a bucket. Doesn't mean it's a cocktail bucket, does it? No. Um, so yeah, so you've got so you've got a glass. I've got a glass. Yeah, you have a plate in front of you. I do. And what cocktail is not complete without a glamorous umbrella? Umbrella. Yeah. yeah so you need to you need to open your umbrella. Hello. I'm going to call mine Natalie. Natalie umbrella. Natalie umbrella. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, it's not right. It's torn. Oh. You've got some little strawberry jellies. I do. Yeah. How many have you got, Mike? I've got four. Have you? I have all got four, four there. Look, all four are here. Well, that's very good. Uh, yes. Well done, you. Are you referring to the fact that before you stole the, them the show, before. I yes. was walking past yeah. your plate and kept yeah. eating them? Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your cocktail umbrella mm -hmm. and one of your jelly 
strawberries. Strawberries and and pierce it. Are we impaling it? Yeah, like a like a moose. They're quite. Um, I've got resistance. They're quite hard, aren't they, to get through? <coughs> oh, if you push the top, yeah. I'm just going to put one on. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put one on. Yeah, let's just put them on. Oh, look, what's happening to my brother? It's, it's a windy day. It's a windy day. I've got mine quite far up. Oh, OK. Um, so I'm just going to pop that pop that to one side, because that we're going to uh -huh. use that to, to guard you, in, you out on, didn't you? No. Let's put those. Now, we, we, we want a pink sugared rim. We always want a pink we sugar. We always want a pink sugar mm -hmm. rim. So you should have um, some pink glimmer sugar. You know, little tubettes. Yeah. I do have some pink glitter sugar. Yeah. And then you'll need your little plate. Mm -hmm. And then you need to put a layer of the pink sugar dust on the plate. Yeah. Now, normally, mm -hmm. What I've been led to believe when you make the cocktails is that cocktail makers um, dip the rim of the kind of like have a like lemon juice that they kind of go and then that. I haven't brought that. We can just we can also rub a lemon. Around the yeah, yeah. Um, so what I'm going, you know, we're not going to share these glasses. No. So I'm just going to say spit on the rim. Don't be spit on the rim. I don't think I'm going to, I'm just going to lick it. Yeah, lick it. Just take your finger and um, just just make it moist. Don't make eye contact with me when you're doing that. <laughs> Why? I don't like it. <laughs> so once your rim is moist... I have rimmed my glass till it is okay, moist. Then you tip, tip it upside down and, and dip it in your sugar crystals until... Oh, how, how beautiful. You got a sugary rim? Barely. Weak, weak saliva. So that's you, old weak saliva. Um, I, mine is all covered. My rim is sparkling. Yours is a bit crusty. Eh. Yeah. So we have prepared, ready. You can pop your, you can pop your um, umbrella in. Okay. Ready. So now you're going to be the what we classify as mixologists. Oh, okay. You're going to be a mixologist. Okay. Okay. So. Um, you have a container, and then I would like you to pour some raspberry juice. We've got raspberry mixed with cranberry juice. Oh, right, okay, I was yeah. going to say this is cr cranberry. Yeah. You know, a glass worth. Listening to it sing zombie. That's an old song. Oh, God. About a glass worth. Yeah. Shot glass? No, like a, like a, like a drinking glass worth. Okay, stop. You can put that. You can put that to one side now. Okay. Okay. Now you also, because it's an alcoholic beverage, <laughs> we are going to be we're going to be using vodka. Okay. So you have a couple of cans there, um, which are lime and soda with vodka mixed in. Oh, pre-mixed cans. Yeah, classy. Yeah, no, I feel like I should be on a train. Ooh. Um. Oh yeah, but just pop that in. Are you trying to make me work myself? Yes. Well, it's worked. Oh, vinegar shakes. Okay, I think... <laughs> I think that's enough now. Okay. Is it all in there? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to pass you um, some ice. Okay. Because we like it. It's a cold beverage we cold want. Beverage. Okay. Cold beverage. Cold, cold. So, there's a, there's a cup of ice. Okay. Do it. How much ice do you want? Ice. Oh. Couple of, couple Ice. of. Baby. I'm gonna pass you some raspberries, fresh, well, freshly frozen raspberries. Freshly frozen, yeah. okay. Um, you can put as many, I'm, I'm gonna take one to decorate my glass with. Oh. So, I'll pop that over there. And I'm, I'm going to retain one as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll throw it on the floor. Well, on the table. And no, not all of them, a couple, you know, a few. A few, a couple few. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's that's enough. That's enough. Okay. Now we've got that. <laughs> you're gonna make a mess, aren't you? Yes. Then then we're gonna be sad. So now 
we've got the Twizzler lollies. Oh. Ooh. Now, I've, I've brought five. Okay. I don't think we're going to need five. I think we'll, well, I think, give me two, because I think I'll fit two in. Okay. I'm going to slide those across to you. Thanks. Now, I have provided you with a pair of scissors that you might be able to slide, slide off the Twizzler. Don't, you know, ice cream Twizzlers we're talking about. If you can slide, you don't want the stick, because that would not be good. Okay. Now, it's ice cream Twizzlers, okay. not turkey Twizzlers. Are you a fan of a Twizzler lolly yourself? Not a massive fan. Oh. You see, when we got to ice cream vanish, there was always a choice between Twizzlers and funny feet. I would always go for a funny foot. Oh, okay. It's, does that where your foot fetish stems from? I don't have a foot fetish. I have a feet fetish. It's very different. Oh. Okay. I'm greedy. Oh, so, okay. I've got three Twizzlers in there. That's looking delicious, if I, it is. If I don't it's, mind saying so myself. It is looking a little bit like... An autopsy. You An alien say. autopsy, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's make it look even more... Now, what you need to do is you need to screw the top on. Okay. And perhaps move some of, some of the accoutrements um, away. It's going to get loud. It's going to get loud. Yeah. So you need right. to blitz it until okay. it all becomes smooth. Are we ready? So, it's secure. Mm -hmm. Lids on. Yep. Blast it. Well done, Mike. Press it down and oh. twist. Press it. Stop! Can you... Does it look combined? It look, that looks done. Okay, so take it off, and you may you may pour yourself a glass of sadness. Sad. I don't know what it's called. Twizzler cocktail. Loneliness. Oh, oh, that there was a hiss. There was a hiss. It's almost like we put a carbonated beverage and spun yeah. it around really, really quickly. I thought you'd bent over. That's more of a than a hiss and a dust cloud. Okay. Oh. Would, you, would you like to pass it over? Yes, I'd like to see you pour just as eloquently as I just did. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You had to take your umbrella out though. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to thread my raspberry. Okay, so there we so perhaps we should perhaps we should smell first, see what it smells like. Fruity. Mmm, sadness. Sadness. I'm going to taste it. Okay, cheers. Very man, I don't drink, so I'll be thirty seconds and I'll be on the floor. I'm quite liking that. No. No. Really? It's just sugar. Hello, I'm drunk. Hello, drunk. Nice. I'm disappointed. Yeah. You're disappointed. I quite like that. Okay. Oh, enjoy well, yourself. Yeah. If you tried at home, let us know. Well, Al Lee sucks the end off his umbrella. That brings us to the end of this week's show. Just enough time to say you can find us on your social media platforms. Just look for The Good TV, and our website is thegood.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.